Hey everyone, hope you are having a great day. I want to share again more of the favorite scriptures. This one today comes from Psalm 27. And I'm kind of picking and choosing three different verses. Verse 1, verse 4, and verse 14. And it's a psalm that's written by David. And it's really a psalm where it seems like he's running and he, he needs protection from his enemies. And, you know, one of the things that I've thought about over the years is that when we talk about enemies, sometimes enemies aren't always the outside forces against us. Sometimes the enemy is ourselves. Sometimes the enemy is just the way that we might treat ourselves or the way we might put ourselves down or just the thoughts that we have that filter in and then we need help from God. And so I want to read three different verses from Psalm 27, the first verse, the last verse, and then again, and then verse 4. So Psalm 27, verses 1, 4, and 14. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? One thing I have asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and, and to inquire in his temple. And then David ends the psalm by saying, Wait for the Lord. Be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. So many times when we are feeling anxious, or when we're feeling desperate, when we're feeling threatened, uh, for whatever the reason is, it is difficult to wait for the Lord, isn't it? I mean, we really struggle. We want to solve that problem as quickly as possible. And sometimes we just need to wait for the Lord. And yet David says in the midst of that, wait for the Lord. He says, be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. And so that, that strength and that courage doesn't come from ourselves, but it comes in the midst of waiting for the Lord. And it comes in the proclamation that we make in verse 1, that the Lord is my light. The Lord is my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I don't need to fear anyone because the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my light. He is my salvation. He is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And David talks about the enemies and, and the running. And he comes back then in verse 4. One thing I've asked of the Lord that I'm going to seek after that. I would dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And that's a reminder of what David said Four Psalms earlier in Psalm 23, 6, that he would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that you can gaze upon the beauty. And you know, when you look at something beautiful, it kind of calms us, kind of relaxes us. And David could inquire in the temple of the Lord. In other words, he can pray that he would draw close enough to God, that he could petition God. He could make, as Paul would say in Philippians 4, he could make his request known with thanksgiving, and he would experience the peace and the presence of God, that he would guard your hearts and minds. And that's the goal, that's the call today, to feel the power and the presence of God in the midst of whatever trials, tribulations, temptations, distress, sickness, family issues, whatever it is, that you would feel the power and presence of God because he is your light and he is your salvation and he will give you strength and he will give you courage. He promises that. God bless you. See you tomorrow.